What's going on today? You already know YBTV. I'm about to dive right into this. A lot of us tell our kids that they think they grown when they doing childish shit. Like, you got to chat. Why you act? Quit acting like you grown. Quit being grown. Grown, grown, grown. Whatever, right? Now, the thing is, is that we teaching them the wrong shit. Because we telling them that they childish traits that they doing, that straight foolishness, is traits of a full-blown adult. And that can't be more further from the truth. Now, think about what you're telling your child. You're telling them that this is what adults do. You're not telling them that this is stupid and childish. You're telling them that you're just not old enough to do it. Right? Now, I want to say this. That when it comes to raising children, you got to understand that this is all psychological warfare. That's all it is. You're participating in a war with a child with your mind and you got to show that you got the stronger mind and you got the stronger will to beat this child at these little stupid games that they play so i'm gonna give two examples of a 12 year old and an 18 year old and these two examples should show kind of how we could start to handle these situations a lot better now we're gonna start with the 12 year old your son don't want to fix his damn bed every day you got to wake up and tell him the same shit son why ain't your bed fixed before you leave out for school? Oh, I'll be forgetting. I'll be forgetting. Don't say, you think you grown? You think you run this out? Mm-mm, don't say that. Like, so you don't keep on acting like a child, right? Okay. Have a good day at school. When he come in and it's time for dinner, set up all the plates and send him a baby bottle right there. And be like, have at it. There go your baba. And I will force him to drink. Dad, why I got to drink out of it? Listen, son, let me explain something to you. This is something my mama used to tell me. This is not a democracy. This is a dictatorship. She was telling me that all the time. Drink up. That bottle is not optional. Understand, son? You want to act like a baby? I'm going to treat you like what? And let's say he keep it good for a while because after that, he going to be like, no, nah, I'm fixing my bed. But then he fall off one time. You got to back him up. Right then and there, oh, you know what? Why don't you have your sleep over this weekend? You know, with you and your homies and y'all. go, Yeah, <laughs> he can have movie night. Yeah, no problem. And during movie night, I bring everybody, they juice, because I don't drink soda. Juice, there you go. They go, use some juice, use some juice. And he go, your bottle, son. Right in front of his friends. I bet you nip that shit in the bud. Now, let's go to the 18-year-old. You know, the one be like, you want to act like you grown? You get out of my house. A lot of people say that to their 18-year-old. I wouldn't say that to mine. So my 18-year-old coming in late. Uh, hanging out with his friends, knowing that he got to go to college the next day. And, you know, he got to go up there and do his classes and that thing. He falling off and all that. I'm not going to say you think you grown. I'm going to say you think you act. You, come here, son. What, dad? You're 18 years old. You're growing into being a grown man. And you want to act like you 12. Like, seriously, that's what you want to act like, you 12. Okay. So... I'm about to treat you like you 12. You got a curfew now. Uh, you get out of school at 3 o'clock. What time do the street lights come on? What, about 7.30, 8 o'clock? Depending on the season. Be in by the street lights. And if you ain't in, you're not getting in. What you mean that, like, you think I'm playing? Your key, it, you know what? Let me show you how serious I am. Because I be in at that time. So, at 8 o'clock, is this house is going on lockdown. And when he come in that day, it's either I'm going to be changing the locks or I'm going to put that big-ass bar reinforcement thing that you put on there and you lock it up. And I, it's going to be the first night he's going to think I'm playing until his ass sitting on the porch all night. Swear to God. And I will stay up all night and watch the camera and make sure don't nobody fuck with him. And I'll make sure he's straight. I'll be like, son, if you get in any trouble, I'm going to leave my window open. You can holler, but don't leave off that porch. You can stay on that motherfucker all night. You come in for a shower in the morning with me for work, and then you go back out. Now, play with me, and we'll try it again the next night. Now, like I said before, quit acting like a child, and I won't treat you like one. It's all psychological warfare. Now, the last one, I ain't think that one all the way through, so I'm just giving you a general idea. I don't know, because I don't really... Well, I, we stay in a good neighborhood, so I don't see that happening, but... Oh, I definitely, matter of fact, I don't think it'll hurt him. He'll be, as a boy. He, I, I probably wouldn't do it to my daughter, but my boy, he could probably get that. But the thing is, you want to act like a child, I'm going to treat you like one. 
I'm not going to tell you acting grown because grown-ups take responsibility very seriously. I'm the work on time. I handle my business. If I do stay out, I know I'm going to suffer the next day. I suffer. But I make sure my business is handled first. And I conduct myself like an adult. And that's what I will teach my children, not the other shit. You already know what it is. If you don't want to end up in a box, think outside of it. Why be here?